what's going on guys let's look at this problem right here this question is asking a solenoid of length 16.7 cm consists of closely spaced coils of wire wrapped tightly around a wooden core the magnetic field strength is 2.2 millitesla inside the solenoid near its center when a certain current flows through the coils if the coils of the solenoid are now pulled apart slightly stretching it to 20.5 cm without appreciably changing the area of the coils what does the magnetic field become near the center of the solenoid when the same current flows, flows through the coils okay here what we are trying to do is we are trying to see what like how does the length affect the magnetic field right now let's go ahead and draw a sample solenoid diagram so here we are going to have a solenoid like this okay and we have a current flowing, flowing through this let's call this one i and this is going to come out like this i and this is our length this is what we are talking about and this is number of turns number of turns and for in order to solve this problem we have to know the ideal solenoid magnetic field equation so for an ideal solenoid magnetic field inside the solenoid is given by b is equal to mu naught n i over l and here we are trying to see the relationship between magnetic field and the length so we can take the connection alone like b is inversely proportional to one over inversely proportional to the length so we b is in proportional to 1 over l and from this one we can form an equation like b1 therefore b1 l1 is equal to b2 l2 right and uh, this is let's say this is our initial condition and after we change the length what's going to happen to the magnetic field that's the question so in order to find that one we have to rearrange this equation so b2 is going to be equivalent to b1 l1 divided by l2 okay initial magnetic field we had that is 2.2 millitesla so we put that one right here 2.2 millitesla times the length initial length we had 16.7 centimeter so 16.7 centimeter i keep the units uh, units as it is because this centimeter and centimeter is going to cancel each other right and the final answer we will get is in millitesla if we could keep this one in this way so in the bottom we are going to have the l2 the length the new length that is 20.5 centimeter okay from this one you can see that centimeter centimeter cancels the only unit left is millitesla and if you calculate this value you should get 1.79 millitesla and that's going to be the new magnetic field and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching